What's up guys, Full FIFA here back again with another video and today we will be looking at the UCL Week 3 Marquee Matchup Predictions. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to say I'm thinking about starting off a new series on this channel called Bronze Pack Method to Glory, where we're just going to start off with like 10k coins with playing a couple of games and we're just going to be opening bronze packs and selling all the cards and everything out of it and seeing how many coins we can actually make using the Bronze Pack Method. And I do use the bronze pack method on my main account and I have probably made over 100 to 150k using that method. You can make anywhere from like 10k to like 25k an hour using that method by listing up all the cards and all the rares that do go for a lot. So just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that series. And to start off with the actual video, I'll just put the team somewhere on the screen right now so you guys don't have to sit through the whole video if you guys don't want to. So as always, sell into the hype with these cards so you have zero risk. But what happened last week with the rares not rising that much, they rose like 200 coins, not even. I recommend buying discard commons this week instead for 300 to 350 coins. Don't buy the rares. And yeah, so let's start off with the teams. We got Inter Milan versus Real Madrid. So again, we're just gonna be looking up at the common cards because they do seem to rise a little bit more due to their like lower price ranges. So you guys can pick up a couple of these commons that are pretty decent from this team, which is this right back and this CDM. So both of these you guys can pick up on bid during Swab Battle Rewards most likely, and they'll be their cheapest during then. Or you guys can pick it up if you guys do see packs come onto the market tomorrow. If there are like promo packs that uh, probably like 35ks or like maybe even 45k packs you might want to see what these cards are going for or if there's even an SBC that can supply these cards onto the market because that'll again drop the price and there'll be a bunch of listed up so you guys will be easily you guys can easily get them for around 300 coins to 350 coins the 300 coins ones are going to be 75 rated so I I personally went with the 350 coin ones as my main investment so with real madrid this was the one odd one there's only like two rares that are uh two commons that are really here there's this goalkeeper which is only 75 rated and there's um this right back but this right back does not sell for 350 coins on bid it's really hard to get them i wasn't able to pick them up so i did pick up all these um i did pick up a couple of these goalkeepers on bid i got lucky for 300 coins when packs did drop today so you guys can go with the rares here again it's just going to be the same um the same thing buy them for 650 to 700 coins and just flip them the day before again these didn't rise as much so you can pick up your Asensios, your fernandez's there's a bunch on here i would rather go with the high rated ones than the lower rated ones so probably 80 plus you'll be fine then we got from the bundesliga we got rb Le uh, lepsenberg Lepses or something versus PSG. So again, these cards, these these teams do have common cards that do sell for around 350 coins. I've seen them on the market. So there are they are low rated again, but I recommend still picking these up. Pick up a couple of them. Don't pick up too many. So this striker was the highest rated one that I could find for around 350 coins, which is 77 rated. And yeah, just keep picking them up make sure you i don't usually pour a ton of coins into this i do put pick up like 10 cards from each team you can make a little bit of profit but i, I don't risk it that much again they, they only have this goalkeeper and this um th this right back so i would rather go for the goalkeeper even though the right back is probably going to be more used i i still go for the goalkeeper just because of his rating and then for the two wild cards i did choose liverpool versus atlanta so these are wild cards because Atlanta is not a very good team compared to the other teams that are playing like um, like PSG, like Inter Milan, like Real Madrid. But the thing is that those these teams didn't have SBCs yet. So they might just give it to them just because they did not ha get SBCs yet for UCL marquee matchups because I know Real Madrid did, Inter did, and PSG did. So we got... So you guys can pick up cards from here. I only picked up a couple. I picked up probably like 10, 10 cards from each team from like these ones. The other ones I just just went a, a little bit more into. 
And as you guys can see, these guys do have a lot of commons. I'd say picking up these center mids. That's the only card I really picked up from these guys. And then you got Club Regula versus Dortmund. So again, this is not an amazing teams versus each other. Dortmund is a big team. However, uh, I'm just going to call them club. They are a very small team, especially because they play in the Belgium League. But they are the biggest club in the Belgium League. So you guys, there's a bunch of cards you guys can pick up from these guys as well. But again, I only recommend picking up probably three, four cards from these guys just in case they do get the SBC. And do sell into the hype. You guys can also look at these UCL rare cards because they are very low in price right now. You can pick them up for 750 coins on bid. Again, I did pick them up last week for uh, around like 12 uh, K, 950 to a K, and then I flipped them all for 1700. And I did buy them all back again for around 650 to 700 coins. So I say pick these cards up, pick up high rated ones, don't pick up the low rated ones, pick up your 80s, 80 plus again for these cards from decent leagues make sure they're from a decent league just so people will actually put them into SBCs if an SBC does drop for these cards you guys can also look at 82s if you guys do want which are getting bid on for around 700 coins they're selling from 700 to 850 coins the 82s especially like Payet you can probably get him on bid you can probably get this 83 on bid too but he is not from a very good league that's the problem with him and you guys should pick these up just in case they do do something crazy with these UCL SBCs or something and these cards do rise up again. Again, the commons are, I think, I believe the commons were a little bit more expensive last time I had checked, but I believe they are down in price again. So you can pick them up for 350 to 300 coins. I would recommend picking up a couple of these cards, just have them in the club just in case. So if you guys did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And we're just going to be opening this one pack just for JR if you guys... Want to check out Jair's channel? Check out my recommended channels in my uh, on my channel. So let's just open this two rare player pack. Hopefully we can get something good maybe to end off this video. Maybe. No, I'll walk out. It's a board though. Could be somebody half decent. Come on, yay. Swedish. Striker. Oh, we got um, Ibra. So that's, that's not bad. It's an 83. I already have him untradeable though. So... Let's see if there was anything else. Buy. I'll take a buy. He's around. How much is he even selling for these days? He's around 3k, right? Oh, he's dropped quite a bit from the 3k. But again, buy is not a bad pull. And thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. Peace.